Are you finding that despite regular composting, your garden isn't reaching its full potential? You're not alone. Many dedicated gardeners hit a plateau where traditional methods no longer deliver the lush, vibrant results they crave. Welcome to the next level of garden mastery, where we explore the fascinating world beyond basic composting. This video will introduce you to game-changing materials that can revitalize tired soil, supercharge plant growth, and create a thriving ecosystem beneath your feet. Whether you're struggling with nutrient deficiencies, poor water retention, or simply want to maximize your garden's potential, these advanced techniques will transform your gardening experience. The Limitation of Compost Alone For decades, compost has been rightfully celebrated as garden gold. It improves soil structure, adds organic matter, and introduces beneficial microorganisms. However, treating compost as the only answer to soil health is like trying to maintain human health with just one food group. Many garden challenges persist despite regular compost applications. Clay soils may remain stubbornly compact. Sandy soils might continue to drain too quickly. And specific nutrient deficiencies can linger regardless of how much compost you add. This happens because compost, while valuable, has limitations in its mineral content, microbial diversity, and ability to create lasting soil structure improvements. The true magic happens when we understand soil as a complex living ecosystem requiring diverse inputs. Each garden has unique needs based on local soil conditions, climate, and the specific plants you're growing. By expanding your soil amendment toolkit, you can address these nuanced requirements with precision, the foundation of soil health. Before diving into specific amendments, Let's briefly examine what constitutes healthy soil. Optimal soil health depends on a balanced relationship between physical structure, biological activity, and chemical composition. Physically, soil needs proper pore space for air circulation, water infiltration, and root penetration. Biologically, it requires diverse microbial communities that break down organic matter cycle nutrients and form symbiotic relationships with plants. Chemically, it needs balanced pH and a full spectrum of macro and micronutrients. The amendments will explore work in concert to address these three dimensions of soil health. Some primarily enhance physical structure, others boost biological activity and still others correct chemical imbalances. When thoughtfully combined, they create a soil environment where plants don't just survive, they thrive. Biochar, Ancient Technology for Modern Gardens one of the most exciting soil amendments gaining attention is biochar, a form of charcoal specifically created for soil application. This isn't a new invention. Indigenous peoples in the Amazon produced it over 2,500 years ago to create the famously fertile terra preta soils that remain productive to this day. Biochar is produced by heating organic material, like wood chips and agricultural waste, in a low oxygen environment, a process called pyrolysis. The resulting material is incredibly porous, resembling a microscopic honeycomb structure with thousands of tiny surfaces and cavities. This unique structure provides several remarkable benefits. First, it creates a permanent home for beneficial microorganisms, protecting them from predators and environmental fluctuations. Second, it dramatically improves water retention while maintaining proper drainage. Third, biochar absorbs and gradually releases nutrients, reducing leaching and improving nutrient efficiency. Perhaps most impressively, biochar represents a form of carbon sequestration that can last hundreds or even thousands of years in soil, while regular organic matter breaks down relatively quickly, releasing carbon back into the atmosphere, biochar keeps carbon locked in the soil, making it an environmentally beneficial addition to any garden. To use biochar effectively, never apply it raw. Always charge it first by soaking in compost tea, liquid fertilizer, or aged manure slurry for at least two weeks. This fills the biochar's microscopic pores with nutrients and microbes. Otherwise, fresh biochar can temporarily bind nutrients, making them unavailable to plants. Apply charged biochar at 5 to 10% of soil volume, working it into the top 6 to 8 inches of soil. Vermicast, the microbe-rich gold of worm digestion. Vermicast, the excrement of earthworms, represents one of nature's most perfectly balanced soil amendments. Through the digestive process of earthworms, organic material is transformed into a material rich in plant-available nutrients, beneficial microorganisms, and growth-promoting compounds. 
Unlike traditional compost, vermicast contains much higher concentrations of beneficial bacteria and fungi. Research has consistently shown that plants grown with vermicast show improved germination rates, enhanced root development, stronger disease resistance, and higher yields. This happens because vermicast provides not just nutrients, but also enzymes, growth hormones, and humic acids that stimulate plant development. Vermicast also improves soil structure by creating stable aggregates, clusters of soil particles that resist erosion and compaction, while maintaining ideal pore space for air and water. A little goes a long way, even a thin top dressing of vermicast can dramatically improve plant performance. You can purchase vermicast commercially or produce your own through vermicomposting. A simple worm bin can transform kitchen scraps into premium vermicast with minimal effort. Apply vermicast as a top dressing around plants, about a quarter inch layer as a component in potting mixes, around 10 to 20 percent, or brewed into worm tea for foliar application. Mycorrhizal fungi, the underground network. Perhaps the most fascinating soil amendment isn't really an amendment at all, but rather the reintroduction of a vital natural relationship that's often destroyed in conventional gardening practices. Mycorrhizal fungi form symbiotic associations with plant roots, essentially extending the plant's root system by 10 to 1,000 times. These remarkable fungi send out microscopic filaments called hyphae that can access water and nutrients in soil pores too small for plant roots to enter. In exchange for sugars produced by the plant, mycorrhizal fungi deliver water, phosphorus, nitrogen, and micronutrients directly to plant roots. Beyond nutrient access, mycorrhizae provide several additional benefits. They create glomalin, a sticky protein that improves soil structure. They boost plant drought resistance by accessing water unavailable to plant roots. They even connect plants underground, creating what scientists call the wood wide web, a communication network that can transfer resources between plants and warn of pest attacks. Unfortunately, mycorrhizal networks are easily damaged by tilling, fungicides, and leaving soil bare. To re-establish these beneficial fungi, you can purchase mycorrhizal inoculants and apply them directly to plant roots during transplanting or water them into established plantings. Most plants, about 95%, form mycorrhizal associations, with the notable exceptions being brassicas, such as the cabbage family, chenopods like beets and spinach, and amaranths. Rock dust, also called rock powder or rock flour, addresses this issue by providing a slow-release source of minerals that conventional fertilizers typically lack. Created by grinding rocks like basalt, granite, or glacial moraine deposits, rock dust contains dozens of trace minerals that gradually become available as the particles weather. The benefits extend beyond simple nutrition. Many of these trace minerals serve as cofactors for enzyme systems in plants, improving their ability to photosynthesize, resist disease, and produce flavorful, nutrient-dense harvests. Gardeners using rock dust consistently report improved plant vigor, better flavor in fruits and vegetables, and reduced pest and disease pressure. Different types of rock dust offer different mineral profiles. Basalt dust excels at providing calcium, magnesium, iron, and manganese. Granite dust offers potassium and silicon, Glacial rock dust typically provides a broad spectrum of minerals deposited during ice age grinding of various rock types. Apply rock dust at approximately 2 to 5 pounds per 100 square feet of garden area, mixing it into the top few inches of soil. Since the minerals release slowly over several years, a single application can last 3 to 5 growing seasons. Beyond basic plant nutrients, seaweed contains unique bioactive compounds including cytokinins, auxins, gibberellins, betaines, and oligosaccharides. These natural plant growth regulators stimulate root development, enhance flowering and fruiting, and activate plants' natural defense systems. Perhaps most notably, seaweed extracts significantly improve plants' ability to withstand environmental stresses. Gardens treated with seaweed show enhanced tolerance to drought heat cold and salinity. This stress resistance is particularly valuable as climate change brings more extreme and unpredictable weather patterns. Seaweed extract can be applied as a foliar spray absorbed directly through leaf surfaces or as a soil drench. When applied to soil, it not only feeds plants but also nourishes beneficial soil microorganisms. 
Many gardeners report that regular seaweed applications reduce pest and disease issues by strengthening plants' natural immune responses. Commercial seaweed extracts are widely available in liquid or powder form. Apply according to package directions, typically every two to four weeks during the growing season. The resulting liquid contains not only these living organisms, but also their metabolites, compounds they produce that stimulate plant growth and suppress pathogens. When applied to soil or plant surfaces, these organisms quickly colonize the area, outcompeting harmful microbes and beginning the important work of nutrient cycling. Different brewing methods favor different microbial communities. Aerated compost tea made with an air pump circulating oxygen through the mixture promotes aerobic bacteria and fungi. Non-aerated methods, simply steeping compost in water, favor different microbial profiles. Both approaches have merit depending on your specific garden needs. The benefits of compost tea appear quickly. Plants often show improved color and vigor within days of application. Regular applications throughout the growing season maintain a thriving soil food web, gradually reducing dependency on external inputs as the soil ecosystem becomes self-sustaining. To brew basic compost tea, place high-quality finished compost in a permeable bag, like a pillowcase, and suspend it in a bucket of dechlorinated water. Add a tablespoon of unsulfured molasses as a food source for microbes. For aerated tea, use an aquarium pump to bubble air through the mixture for 24 to 48 hours. Apply the strained liquid to soil at a rate of about 1 gallon per 50 square feet, or use as a foliar spray, diluted 1 to 10 with water. Start by identifying your soil's primary limitations through observation, and ideally, a comprehensive soil test. Is your soil sandy and quick draining? Focus on amendments that improve water retention like biochar and vermicast. Is it heavy clay that stays waterlogged? Emphasize amendments that improve structure and drainage, such as biochar and mycorrhizal fungi. Lacking specific nutrients? Target those deficiencies with appropriate rock dusts or seaweed extracts. Consider also the timing of applications. Some amendments work best when applied in fall to break down over winter. Others deliver immediate benefits and are ideal for spring application or mid-season boosts. By developing a seasonal amendment strategy, you can provide your soil with year-round support. Budget considerations may also influence your approach. While some amendments require purchasing, many can be produced at home with minimal investment. Vermicomposting systems, home-brewed compost tea, and locally sourced materials can significantly reduce costs while still delivering excellent results. Biochar represents perhaps the most environmentally positive amendment, actually removing carbon from the atmospheric cycle and sequestering it in soil for centuries. When made from waste materials like prunings and agricultural residues, it transforms potential waste into a valuable resource. Vermicast and compost tea exemplify circular systems, converting waste streams into garden assets. Rock dust often utilizes byproducts from quarrying operations that would otherwise become waste. Mycorrhizal inoculants restore natural biological functions disrupted by modern practices. Seaweed harvesting raises more complex sustainability questions. Wild harvesting must be done responsibly to avoid depleting natural ecosystems. Commercially produced extracts should ideally come from sustainably farmed seaweed rather than wild harvested sources. Vermicast represents one of the easiest DIY options. A simple worm bin can transform kitchen scraps into premium vermicast with minimal maintenance. Similarly, compost tea requires only basic equipment, a bucket, air pump, and some mesh bags to produce. Biochar production requires more specialized equipment to achieve proper pyrolysis conditions, making it challenging for most home gardeners to produce safely and effectively. Commercial biochar offers a more practical solution for most. Mycorrhizal inoculants can technically be cultivated at home by creating extracts from healthy native soils, but ensuring the right species mix and adequate concentrations makes commercial products more reliable for most gardeners. Rock dust is generally purchased as few gardeners have access to appropriate rock sources or grinding equipment. However, some creative gardeners use coffee grinders to pulverize small quantities of appropriate rocks found locally. For most gardeners, a hybrid approach works best producing amendments that are easily made at home while purchasing those that require more specialized production methods. 
Transforming your garden through experimentation. The journey toward optimal soil health is ongoing and deeply personal to your specific garden conditions. The most successful gardeners approach soil improvement with a spirit of curiosity and systematic experimentation. Consider designating a small section of your garden as a testing ground for new amendments or combinations. Document your baseline conditions, application rates, and observed results through photographs and notes. This empirical approach will quickly teach you which methods deliver the best results in your unique conditions. Share your experiences with the Soil and Crops Central community. Your successes and challenges contribute valuable knowledge to fellow gardeners facing similar situations. Through this collective learning, we advance the practice of sustainable, productive gardening for everyone. Remember that soil improvement is a marathon, not a sprint. Some benefits appear quickly, while others develop over seasons or years as the soil ecosystem gradually rebalances and matures. Patience, consistent practices, and ongoing learning yield gardens that become increasingly productive and resilient over time. Join our soil revolution. The journey to exceptional soil health never truly ends. It evolves as we learn, experiment, and share our discoveries. At Soil and Crops Central, we're committed to exploring and documenting cutting-edge techniques that push the boundaries of what's possible in home gardens. We invite you to subscribe to our channel for regular updates on innovative soil management techniques, in-depth product reviews, and fascinating explorations of soil science made accessible. Share this guide with fellow gardeners who might be struggling with soil challenges or looking to take their gardens to the next level. Together, we're building a community of informed, experimental gardeners who understand that the foundation of any great garden lies just beneath our feet, in the living, breathing ecosystem we call soil. Join us in this soil revolution and watch as your garden transforms from ordinary to extraordinary through the power of advanced soil amendments.